So this is all you need to make the bracelet. I'm going to put all the details and the specifics in the info box below, so be sure to check that out. For the chain portion of this project, you can go one of two routes. You can either purchase the pre-made chain at a jewelry store, which is probably going to be 7 to $10 or more, or you can go the more cost-effective way and just go to a craft store and make your own, which is what I did. Just look for a chain with large links because you want to make sure the strands that we're going to be weaving through are going to fit through each of the links. This came with this chain portion. These toggle ends I purchased separately. So I had already placed on here with pliers. So that's basically all you need to make your own bracelet and it's a lot cheaper. So now what you want to do is measure out the string that you need. Just make sure you measure out two strands and each strand should be about four times your wrist circumference. So here's the wrist circumference. I always measure more than I need because I'd rather have more string left over and I can cut it off rather than running short and then you're screwed and you have to tie knots and it's just more of a hassle. Depending on how thick you want your bracelet to be, you can use different number of strands. I chose to use I think 8 per set. So I'm going to be calling the blue strand strand A and the purple strand, strand B, just for tutorial purposes to make things clear. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna secure this chain onto something sturdy. If you have a clipboard, go ahead and clip it on there. Now I don't have a clipboard, so I'm just gonna have to wing it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this piece of scrap string and wrap it through here, and then I'm just gonna tape it on here, and it's going to hold. So the next step is to secure the two strands together with a double knot and make sure it's very secure. So what we're going to do next is put a bobby pin through each strand and this is just going to make weaving the strands in and out of the chain links a lot easier. Alright so let's get started again. The blue strand is going to be strand A and the purple strand strand B. So to start take your strand A and go ahead and put it through the first link. Now every time we weave our strand through the links, we're going to go from below the link. So I'm going to go in from below the link and come out here. So take your bobby pin, you want to go this end first. And as you can see, the bobby pin serves as a needle and it makes everything so much easier. So you're going to pull it through, pull strand A through, and then just pull all the rest all the rest of the string through the chain. You always want to keep the string to the left side of your work. So I just put this through and this is now on the right side. I'm going to move it to the left side. Step two, you're going to take strand B and you're going to put it over strand A. So take strand B, put it over strand A just like this, just like you're braiding. So it's like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the bobby pin and you're going to put strand B through the chain link from below. Again, not from the top, but from below the chain. You want to pull strand B through. So everything goes through. Pulling everything through. So now, again, like I mentioned before, you want all your string always to end up on the left side of your work. So I just put this through. I'm going to pull strand B to the left, and we're going to take strand A and put it over strand B, just like that, just like we're braiding. and then you're done with the first link. So the steps I just showed you are what you need to complete one link and all you have to do is keep repeating that process over and over again. So just in case you're still confused, I'm just going to show you one more time. Another thing you want to make sure you do is to keep everything pretty tight. If it's loose, it's going to look messy. So we did link one, we did link two, and now we're going to start on the third link. So as you can see, the third link has no string or no strands weave through it yet. So take the bobby pin of strand A and weave it through 
the link from below. So what I mean by that is don't go in this way from up top. Weave it in from below the link and then pull it through. All right, so we pulled it through and then we're gonna keep the string or the strands on the left side of the work. We always wanna do that. And then I'm gonna take strand B and put it over strand A, just like I'm braiding. Just like that. And then take the bobby pin of strand B and weave it through the same third link from below, just like this. And pull it through. Take strand A and put it over strand B just like we're braiding once again. I know this is super, super repetitive, so if you've already got it by now, then you can go ahead and continue on. But for those of you who might not have gotten the hang of it yet, trust me, it's easier than it seems. And if you just get the hang of it once, and you get it right once, you'll get the rest of it, and it's going to go pretty quickly. finished and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it off so you don't need the bobby pins anymore you can remove those from the strands so we're going to finish off our work the same way that we started it out with a double knot make sure that your double knot is secure so it doesn't unravel and as you can see I have a lot of string left over what I'm going to do is just snip it off with a pair of scissors it's a little bit of waste but I'd rather have excess than not have enough. Just a few last finishing touches. And depending on your preference, you can leave the strands like this. Some people like that. But I personally like my strands cut pretty short for a more clean look. Just make sure you don't cut them too short because then the knots might unravel. So to prevent that from happening, basically we just need to do one last thing. That is to use either clear nail polish or clear craft glue or nail polish with glitter in it to basically Paint over the knot to make sure it does not unravel. This kind of just seals everything in. And after you do that, just let it dry and that's it. Enjoy your bracelets. I hope this tutorial or this step-by-step -step video was helpful. And please do tweet me if you guys make these. I would love to see how they turn out. I hope you enjoy them and here are some photos.